Rick Pasek. Welcome to my tying bench. Today I will be tying a uh, buzzer, a buzzer pattern. Um, it's just a, uh, basically it's a chronomid. It's just a, um, uh, it's a different style of uh, chronomid that we're used to here in North America. Um, the buzzer pattern has just become more popular here in the last couple of years, but this is something that's been an absolute staple over in, in Europe and in other places around the world for many years. So um, I haven't been tying very many, so this is a this is a, a little bit of a experimental video on top of it. I have tied a few, but not a ton. So enjoy the ride. <laughs> this should be fun. So today in the vise, I have a TMC 200R from Tiemco in a size 14. It's a curved hook. Right? I really like these little curved hooks for my chronomids. Um, for the main body portion and tying silk, I'll be using the Zemperfly Nano Silks in a 12 watt. Um, for the rib, I'm going to use some Zemperfly wire in a 0.2 mil in red. Um, for the gills, I'm going to use some fire orange, fluorescent orange, sorry, goose biots from Zemperfly. Um, now, the other stuff that I have used before, and it works really well, it, it, it really shines really well when you hit it with a UV torch. Um, but it doesn't show up that great just on camera, and that's like the UV cheeky, right? And see if you, and I'll turn off my light here, and if I hit that, I mean, it just glows, right? Really just fiery, just glows big time. So even with the light on, you can see it glows a bit. So that, yeah, that UV cheeky, it comes in greens and pinks and oranges and stuff. It works really well. It just doesn't show up that well on video when I'm tying it. So that's why I'm going with the goose bites because they just show up a bit better. Alrighty. So a little bit of wax on my thread. You don't like using wax, put a dab of crazy glue on just to help this uh, nano silk catch. And you want to keep these thin, 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 right? Uh, just like any coronamid, you want to keep them nice and thin in the body. Okay. So I'm not even going to finish going all the way to the front there. Uh, all the way to the back, sorry. I'm going to come back again. Just wanted to get that tied in nice. And I'm going to get my piece of wire. Now, you could go with even thinner wire than this if you wanted. Um, I like the effect that this thicker wire gives. It's not really thick, but it's definitely thicker. So I'm on the my side. It just came out, so let's just catch it again. There we go. So I'm just going to lay this down on my side here. All the way down, and I want to be around that bend just a little bit. Okay, and now we're back forward again, touching wraps. All the way back to the very front here. And the only reason I'm holding this, this uh, hook with my left hand here, with this one, is because these hooks are little on the flexible side, right? I don't want it to bounce all over the place for you guys. So so now I'm just going to come in here. I'm just going to give this a half hitch. Just one half hitch. You can even do two or three if you want, but just a half hitch so it doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> now I'm going to counter wrap my rib. Now I like actually putting a bit of a butt on it, so I'll do touching wraps. Two or three. I like having that red butt a little it's, a, it's almost like a target a little hot spot target for them right there and now I'll start doing my opening them up like I said I, I really like what the bigger the thicker wire does for the segmentation um, it really isn't a huge deal if you don't have the thicker wire um, use the thinner. I just, like I said, I just like what it does for the look of it. So I think it's kind of neat what it does, especially once you start putting the UV resin on it. And this, again, this up here doesn't have to be too pretty because I'm going to be building a bit of a, a thorax section with the, the tying thread. And that's where my cheeks are going to go. 
So as you saw, that wire comes off really nice and easy with the Zemper, the Zemperfly wire. Comes off really nice. So, All right. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna go back a bit because I want to build up my thorax area. Like I said, I could have stopped here with my uh, my wire, but I didn't. Just gives it a little bit extra security there. So come back to about there. <clears throat> I'm going to take my goose by us, which I've already cut off the piece, and I'm going to tie it in by the by the tips. Now this can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. Like I said, I haven't tied a ton of these, so I'm not the greatest at them, and I've never been the greatest at the small stuff anyway, because my fat fingers, being a, a millwright and a welder, I, I beat my hands up a lot when I was younger, so I don't have a lot of feeling left in them either, so. And being blind in one eye doesn't help either, so. Just make sure that's right on the side there. And then I just want to tie those in all the way back to where I want my thorax area here. So about there. I'm just going to give my thread a bit of a spin to flatten it out. Now I'm just going to build this up a little bit bigger because I want this area a little bit thicker than the rest of my buzzer. Spin again. Alrighty. <clears throat> so you see how that's a little thick. So now I'm going to take my two goose biots. I'm going to bring them forward. And if anything, I want them down like that. I don't rather not have them up. I'd rather have them, if anything, I'd rather have them a bit down. So I'm just going to hold it there. Do a loose -ish wrap. And make sure they stay on their side so I can separate. Okay, make sure they're nice and tight. Flatten my thread again so I don't cut the by it. That's good. Then I will just cut off the uh, the two biots right as close and tight as I can. I'll cut those two biots off. This is the the junk. Nice and tight. And then you'll just tidy that up a bit. You don't want to go under your eye if you can help it there. There you go. Give that a bit of a quick finish. <clears throat> Oop, I had a little bit of dubbing on my quick finisher there. Nice and tight. Pull that, cut that off. And basically that is your finished fly. But now you gotta coat it. And you've got your choice on coatings, whatever you like. So in this case, I am going to use some Gulf Thinman. And do the head first. I actually learned this on a, I think it was the UK, I think it was either UK Fly Fisher or Lindsay Simpson, either or, I can't remember which one it was, or maybe even Mac Flies. Can't remember, they stressed doing this head area first. And uh, I, like I said, I haven't tied a ton of these, but I have done a few and it does make a difference. If you do this head area first, get this nicely, nicely shaped. And then zap that with your UV torch. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to give the body. Doesn't need much, especially not in this first coat. I don't want to put much on, especially, like I said, the first coat. So. Once so you're happy with how that looks, which I am, give that another zap with your torch. Okay, and I'm going to do one more coat for you guys. Normally, I, I would let this harden just a bit more, but I was going to put one more nice little coat on all the way. but I can get that with the third coat. This is Zappa, your torch again. Make sure you're, you're constantly turning, otherwise it will settle. Like once you've torched it a little bit, then you can stop and you can just concentrate. But at first you want to make sure you keep that turning. There we go. So there is my little uh, black and red butt fuzzer, uh, buzzer. Uh, those those uh, goose by it cheeks. I don't know if it'll light up here really well, but yeah, they they really light up when you get them under a UV. You can turn them off. Yeah, it's hard for you guys to see it, but they do light up. They don't light up quite as nice as that UV cheeky does, but uh, uh, these these fluorescent goose by it's really work nice. So. So there you go. So there is a buzzer pattern. Like I said, I'll give it at least one more coat. I'm going to try to concentrate a little bit more on this butt to, to just get a bit more of a taper. Um, and then maybe underneath here, you can see there's a bit of a bump right in, in this area here. It's kind of hollow right underneath. So I'll, I'll just try to get this a bit nicer of a taper. But you definitely want this little bit of a bulbous head and then a nice thin body like that. Alrighty. Give that one a shot. <clears throat> uh, if you like my videos, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you have, thank you very much. Um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Tuesdays, Thursday evenings, Sunday mornings is when my videos come out. Enjoy. If you have any requests that you want to see, please leave me a comment. And we'll talk to you. We'll see you on the next time video. Tie lines, everyone. Mm -hmm.